Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from a new to me company, and I suppose a relatively new company in the diamond painting community. They've been around for a little while, but uh, this is the first time I've had the chance to try out this company, and this is from Bella Sabina. So I'm really excited to get into this one. Um, there is there was a particular piece that I had been eyeing for a little while and then when her her website had gone down for some upgrades and I was thinking okay I'm really bummed that I didn't decide to go ahead and buy that particular kit so if it's still showing up and available <laughs> when her website is back up I'm going to grab it so that's one of those ways that I'm like I think I that means that I want it. But like I said, I this is the first time I'm getting to try out Bella Safina and I'm really looking forward to it. They offer legally licensed artwork and have a really unique approach. And um, they have a Facebook group, which I'll be sure to link to below if you'd like to take a look. Look at how beautifully this is packaged. There's this really pretty cover on it. Looks like there's a card in here with my name and this little bag is branded. It has, wow, like just a really beautiful small shop touch. Look up here at the top. So Sandy is the owner over there. I think she does all of this maybe out of her house. There's her branding. So um, she is adding, it seems like more and more designs relatively regularly, um, but I, I just am keeping an eye on it because I wanna see what, what she ends up adding to the shop. But like I said, for now, I'm really excited about this particular kit. So the name of this one, if you are taking a look ahead, this is called Season Bright, and this is, um very appropriate for the time of year that we're in this is a very holiday themed kit there's a little bit of a look at the artwork this is really cute too oh my goodness but we'll take a close look at it in just a moment i want to take a look at this thank you card um again just a really nice little touch i love that i want to make sure i'm not showing you any personal info so it's just my invoice and then here is an insert with quality assurance. Thank you for purchasing Season Bright. Your drill field is clear with no visible issues. I hope you enjoy your kit and take some time to paint your world beautiful. Sandy. And then, okay, Certificate of Authenticity. So like I had said, uh, this is all legally licensed artwork. And she, like I said, I think she, does some like additions herself to her canvases and so she's credited the graphics for those as well everything is above board and i really really appreciate that about her and then we have inventory check which i think is for me to be able to do and i think i'll be able to go ahead and use this in um as a way of kidding up. Uh, so this is just on paper, but I can run this through my Xyron sticker maker and turn these into labels to use for kidding up. So interesting toolkit, how to's of diamond painting. Here's the thumbnail and interesting that there's even a spot for you to go through and check and make sure you have all the colors that you're supposed to. 34 DMC colors with three Aurora Borealis or AB drills. This is gonna be 24 by 24 inches. To be honest, my brain is so switched over to centimeters when it comes to diamond painting. I don't even know what that is in centimeters. I know, go ahead and make fun. <laughs> uh, your diamonds are 16 faceted acrylic. Interesting. Canvas has no free edge. Pixie sparkle poured glue. This is a level of detail that I don't know that I've ever seen before. And I am really intrigued by it. And again, it just feels like it's that added dimension of like really personal touch. Like a level of care has gone into these kits that I just think is so unique. It's like a little bracelet hair tie, like all these tiny little touches. And these are like my colors. I'm so happy, <laughs> that's the little things. And then here's this. I might just go ahead and use this in my log book, actually. It's perfect size. Let's look at the canvas. So this feels like that um, soft lint, short lint. I always mix those up. Um, 
it's kind of popular right now. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Okay, so of course it does not want to lay flat. That's that's okay. I'll show you the toolkit in just a moment. Let me help this lay flat first. So we have a pretty little backdrop. So um, like it said on the inventory sheet there, uh, this is poured glue. So it is safe to roll back the opposite direction to help it lay flat. We can also, pretty sure that's my hair. <laughs> I'm shedding lately or something. Um, we can also pull back the plastic cover and that will also help this lay a little bit more flat. Uh, if you're looking here on the camera and you're seeing what looks like, this might look like wrinkles to you. Those are not wrinkles. That's just where the plastic cover has shifted. Uh, probably just with being rolled around the drills and whatnot. There is, there are no wrinkles that I am seeing in the glue. Again, this is poured glue. It's very sticky. Um, it feels like a nice quality and poured glue is very forgiving. So even if the plastic cover is not wanting to lay perfectly on top, that's, it's really not a big deal. <laughs> it will uh, lay much more flat if we give it just a little bit of time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back the opposite direction. I always mention, I like to mention, when I remember <laughs> that I don't recommend pulling the plastic cover all the way off since it's not almost ever reversible. So you can also put a piece of washi tape on it, um, but I just prefer not to take it all the way off at all. Okay, that helped it lay a little more flat. How pretty is this image? So like I said, this just kept speaking to me and I would really like to try to work on it this holiday season. We will have to wait and see kind of what things look like, but I would love to give this a try instead of basically needing to wait until next year to do it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the elements of the canvas together. So here's the title, Season Bright. Yes, yeah, so the edges of the canvas are scalloped and they're finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying. We have branding over here at the top left and then a legend. So taking just a quick glance at our symbols, I don't think I'm seeing any that are too similar. Maybe, depending on how clearly they're printed, there's this gray dot, number seven, and then this asterisk here, number 13, which I'm jumping ahead, but I will go ahead and show you because I just saw them right next to each other. Please ignore my naked nails. Um, here is that star and there's the circle and they're very distinct from one another. So I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about mixing those up. Back to the canvas itself. So we have the same legend over here on the bottom right. And I'm guessing the 60 by 60, I think that's our centimeters. <laughs> we'll measure it and check the inches and I suppose the centimeters just to be sure. Also, uh, just like that sheet had mentioned, we're gonna have three AB drills. Well, it says three, but I will have to double check because this looks like in DMC coloring that maybe there's only two. We will take a look in just a bit. <laughs> At the bottom of the canvas, we have Paint Your World Beautiful their little tagline. So let's look at the drill field a little bit more together. If you're noticing, if you're looking there and you're seeing what looks like these really faint circles, um, those are kind of, they're not really what you would traditionally think of calling guide circles because often like the guide circles that people think of that tend to be problematic are really dark, but these are printed so lightly that I really don't think they're going to show around the drills once they're down. Uh, they'll just help you place, place your diamonds a little bit more centered. It looks like there's a little bit of color blocking in this one, but also a fair amount of confetti. Color blocking is areas like here in our adorable bear's face where this is all in here, like that white color. Um, you'll be able to use a multi-placer, be able to leave the colors in your tray for longer without changing out. Um, those areas tend to go faster. And by comparison, we also have areas of confetti, like this is a good example here, where there's a lot of different colors in a small area and it tends to be like single symbols kind of scattered throughout. So you're not really gonna be using a multi-placer as often and you'll be changing out your colors often as well. So even though this really is up, uh, limited to just reds and greens and whites and maybe some kind of like neutrals. I think this is going to be so pretty and it looks like just looking at the symbols on the canvas that there's gonna be some shading in here that's gonna give it some really pretty depth. 
I can't wait to see how her hair turns out. It looks so pretty. So from what I am seeing, the symbols are printed clearly. I don't see any blurriness. And again, I'm not looking and seeing any symbols that I think I'm gonna mix up with one another. Let me backtrack just a tiny bit and let me show you the toolkit. So look at this cute bag that this came in. Again with the pink, pink everything. <laughs> it's just so happens to be right up my alley in that sense. So again, just ways that she has added even more personal touches. So we have a basic pink pen, but look at the cute little bow she added on the top. That's so cute. We also have a tray that she has personalized. Um, hello, that's super cute. <laughs> and then here's her business card, which even that is really pretty, that pearly effect. Bella Safina. Like I said, I'll, I'll link to their Facebook group and their website, of course. And then we have a caddy, again, with this cute little addition here that has pink wax inside. And then just a cute little gem. So cute. So I do think that she maybe added the option of foregoing the toolkit if you like. So if you have plenty of toolkits at home and don't necessarily want to add more plastic to your um, stash, uh, you can opt, I think you can opt out of those now. So here are drills and it looks like so we have SD030. It also says that SD030 here on the canvas. So if I'm storing this separate from the drills, which I probably will since it didn't come in a box, um, just for sake of ease, I'll probably store this flat in a large artist portfolio with my other canvases that didn't come in dedicated boxes. But this will make it easy to match this up later because I'll just be able to look at this. I'll probably also just grab a marker and write on here the name of it. But let's take a look at these. Okay. So these are these sort of pre-sealed bags that have the numbers printed on them here. So this is that 3865. They're not in strands. I think that they're just done by weight, which is, this is fine. Um, let me look at the inventory sheet. So the inventory sheet, this is not telling us exactly how many of each we should have, but I can at least check and make sure that I have all of the colors. Um, I am not necessarily the biggest fan of having to work, uh, having to deal with like these kinds of bags, especially because it's just a little bit disorganized in here, but that is completely not a deal breaker for me. And I completely understand that like if this is the drill supplier that works well, I, I can work with like slightly more uh, time consuming packaging. As long as the drill quality is nice, that's really my top priority. And especially these colors that we're gonna have a ton of. So let me pull some out here for us to look at. And I especially want to look at some of our ABs, of course. So hold on just a second. I'll show you some colors and then we'll look at the ABs. We do have interesting one, oh, a couple of like, this is okay. Okay, this is fine but it's a little bit inconsistent because we do have some that are in Ziploc bags and some that are in these sealed, like pre heat sealed bags. So um, again, I can, I can handle a little bit of like, like I said, I, how did I put it? More time consuming packaging, having to sort through and make sure I have everything that I need um, and kidding up and whatnot. Oh, there's another AB. Um, that's not a deal breaker for me, but it is a mild inconvenience. It's the sort of thing that if, if Sandy were looking for feedback, I might say like maybe consider a drill manufacturer that uh, does either like the strands, cause this is, this is also quite a lot of plastic waste, but I promise I'm not trying to harp on it. I'm just sort of talking while I'm looking through these colors. What I'm seeing though is pretty consistent like size drills and what looks like consistent quality of drills. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing lots of trash or anything like that. These colors are so happy. They're so Christmassy. I love it. I love all the shades of red and all of the greens. I just want to make sure that I did not miss any of our 
ABs. So there's that, th oh, here's a 310. These are always, <laughs> for whatever reason, 310, the manufacturing process. Uh, those are the drills that tend to be the most trash prone. Round drills are generally less problematic than square and these look fine. So again, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not missing any ABs. All right. You know, otherwise these colors look nice. The, the drills themselves look nice. Let's take a moment. Let me show you our ABs that came with this kit. So we have two. Um, the sheet did say three, but that is okay. That's really, really okay. Um, so AB. <laughs> AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And that is just referring to this special iridescent coating that you can see on the tops of these drills. Um, it's reflecting kind of a variety of colors. It's gonna pick up some of the colors of the drills next to it as well. This is just gonna add even more sparkle and more gorgeous glitz wherever it has been charted. It'll draw your eye to those areas. They can just, AB drills can really beautifully enhance your diamond painting. So we have two bags of this 134, this amazing green AB, and then we have a small bag of this almost orangey red. Like it's a, it's showing up a little bit more red in camera than it is in person, I feel like. It has a bit of an orange hue to it. That's okay, we want the brightest areas to reflect those colors. Let's look at the canvas together. I wanna point out exactly where we're going to find those ABs. So, We'll look at the bottom and work our way up. And it looks like the, we're looking for the A, the letters A and C. So just at first glance, it looks like these are sprinkled quite liberally throughout. So it's gonna have an overall kind of more glistening effect. So in particular, I'm noticing that bright red, almost orange red AB, there's a few of them in these, I think these are ornaments on this tree over here, the red ornaments in this red, red ornament as well. There's a little bit here. Is this a blanket or a chair that she's sitting on? Yes. So um, a little bit in this red, on this red blanket she's sitting on. There's a bit of the red AB. The green AB, I see again sprinkled pretty liberally throughout so when you're looking at this at this piece and look for the brightest areas of green there's usually a little bit of outlining like here a little outline here a couple in here and here a couple on the side here um, the brightest parts of AB of the green that you're seeing on this canvas seems to be those green ABs so again areas that it makes sense they're the the lightest parts of those color areas and I think those will glitz really nicely uh, let's keep looking together so I almost want to add some ABs. Like I may add some, just a little bit myself. <laughs> um, let's keep going. And more of the green ABs, again, just highlighting, little tiny bits of highlighting. Sometimes just two or three of those green drills in these areas is going to have a really, really beautiful effect. I don't think I'm really seeing any of the red orange AB in the ribbons. I think they're mostly just in the ornaments. So I think that was probably really intentional charting on their part. And I, that's how I like to see ABs is when it, this is, when it's in a piece like this that has obviously been, um, it looks like it's been hand charted and those things have been placed really deliberately. Um, I believe that the border that we're seeing, like this green border that goes all the way around and maybe some of, maybe some of the other elements in here, um, Sandy has added. That's one of kind of her signature things that she does with her kits at Bella Safina is adds in this like personal touch to the artwork itself. And again, she's done everything above board. Everything is licensed and an artist is given permission and whatnot. Um, and I think it's such a fascinating effect. I'm so curious to see how this works up, um, especially because yeah, like this is the border is just gonna be solid color blocking all around. It's all that same gorgeous green color. Let's see, what color is the border? 3818. 
yeah, this one that's in this bag, this is the color of the border. That's going to be so pretty. And how pretty would this be to have to like, once that's done, it's almost like, it's just display ready or it's almost got just like that matte effect built into it. I think that's going to be so beautiful. One last thing that I want to do that I did forget to do earlier is let's measure and see if we are true to size. So this is advertised as 24 by 24 inches. This is 23 and a half inches, but almost exactly 60 centimeters. So that's true to the 60 that's on here. And then, all right, we are about a, just a little bit, I don't think this is totally flat. So about the same this way. So uh, just about 60 centimeters and about half an inch shy of 24 inches. I'm gonna call that true to size. I give companies one to two centimeters of wiggle room just because you don't know how the artwork is going to actually be proportionally, but I am going to call that true to size. So this again, this is Season Bright. This is from Bella Safina and my very first order from them. I am so very much looking forward to working on this and hoping that I can get to it this holiday season uh, because I love to get to share with you all what it, how it turns out and what it's like to work on a kit from Bella Safina since it's a company I haven't tried before. But my initial impressions up front are that this looks really beautiful. I love all of the personal touches. Um, I love the amount of care that has clearly gone into creating these kits in just about every aspect of it. So I would definitely say go and take a look at the website, see what they have to offer. And if something catches your eye, then I think it could be totally worth it to jump on it. And the bonus is you get to support a small business in the diamond painting community. If you are looking on the website and nothing is necessarily catching your eye, uh, be sure to check back because uh, she seems to be adding new artwork relatively regularly. And of course, please join the Facebook group to stay up to date with um, what's going on over in the shop as well. That's a really helpful resource. So I'll link to all of the things below. Please take a look there, of course, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Have you ordered from Bella Safina before? Does this look like a kit you might want to try and get your hands on? Um, of course, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be more than happy to help. Um, thank you so much to Sandy over at Bella Safina for creating these really beautiful diamond painting kits for us to work on as diamond painters. All right, my friends, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this unboxing was helpful for you. If it was, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see more diamond painting content from me, including updates on this kit going forward, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. I'd love to have you as part of my little community here on the internet. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for watching, my friends. I hope you have a really, really wonderful week and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.